I didn't write anything down. I've never scripted anything before, but I wasn't about to start, I guess. Um, today is Saturday. I don't know, nor do I care what time it is. Uh, it's around noon. Um, I've been laid off for two days now. It sucks. I've never in my life not have a job. Well, when I got out of college, I didn't work for like two months, but eh, I kind of don't count that. But ever since then, uh, I've always had a job. Yeah, it's a layoff. Yeah, they're going to call me back and all that. It's just, I I don't have anywhere to go on Monday, which is really weird. So I figure maybe I'll do some more shit on YouTube, uh, which involves you guys a lot. <clears throat> so what I was thinking was, what I'm about to do is do a uh, little video with the SEX24. <clears throat> but before I do that, I want to ask you guys a question where, seeing as how you're probably stuck at home like I am, but for many of you, different reasons. Like, I know some of you are still in school, and then, uh, yeah, some guys have been laid off. Some guys have been let go. Um, some guys are sick. Some guys are quarantined. Some guys are, what's the other one if you're not quarantined? Uh, isolated. There's a difference there. Um, there's... It's 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 a fucked up world right now. Let's not let's let's not mince words. It's a fucked up world right now, and uh, it's nasty. So uh, you guys are sitting at home. Let's all try and make the best of it. Don't fuck around. Like this is real. Um, clean what you got to clean. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Listen to the experts. They know what's going on. Don't do any of these stupid fucking parties that are out there. These kids that are going out, even adults that are going out like, oh, we're okay where we are and blah, blah, blah. And then one person gets it, you spread it around. It doesn't matter if you can survive it. Uh, don't think about yourself on this one. Think about people around you and people that you could infect. Like you could carry it to other people, have no symptoms, and you'll be fine. Maybe you get a real bad cough for a week and you're like, holy shit, that was the worst cough I ever had. But you gave it to John Smith and then he gave it to his mother and his mother died. So think about that shit. That shit's nasty. But uh, anywho, um, yeah, take this shit seriously. Look, look after each other. We'll get through this. Just not alone. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when it comes to the RC, uh, let me know what you guys are after. Because I'm going to do this, I think, maybe in two different ways. I'm going to do it with the GoPro stick and drive with one hand like I normally do. Ah, shit, I forgot the paperwork. All right, somewhere around here, I have my aluminum folder that has the scorekeeping shit in it i was gonna grab it before i started the video and i forgot it's in this room somewhere nice thing about a gopro on mobile shit i don't remember where i put it i just cleaned up the basement and it's ironic that i just cleaned up and now i can't find what i'm looking for i thought i had it in that bag but it's not in there it could be upstairs in the in the wagon. If you know me, you know what, what that means. Anywho, <clears throat> I can't do build videos right now because I have nothing to build. And I spent the last couple of weeks kind of self-isolating because I'm nervous about getting it. Because if I get it, I might die. You know, it's not it's not to be taken lightly. Or I could spread it to people I care about and they could get seriously sick or die. But yeah, I got nothing to rebuild. I've fixed everything I could fix. So basically all I can do is basement runs which narrows it down to the SX24. I could kind of do the low C short course, but even it's too fast because I made it brushless and it's got that stupid 100,000 RPM motor in it. And then uh, I still got the uh, Mini Z, but Rookie's out there with the Mini Z course and stuff. And if he felt like it, he could dominate YouTube right now with Mini Z courses and races and stuff. He'd be by himself. Hopefully he'd be by himself. I don't want to see him still having people over or any RC club. If you're an RC club in Calgary or anywhere else in the world and you're still gathering up, fucking shut her down, boys. It's not worth it. Uh, anywho, yeah, still, um, what videos do you guys want to see? Um, I got SEX24. I could try and do something at night with that. Uh, uh, what is it? The Mini Z I got. I can't even remember what car I have anymore. It's been so long since I've driven it. The little green, it's a Honda, I think, something or other. Integra? Crossed over with a something or other? I don't know. Um, yeah, I could do something with that. Uh, I could do a live feed of me rebuilding shocks or something. What uh, uh I got to rebuild the shocks on the Mini E Revo. Uh, I could do an overview. Somebody asked me uh, if you're beginning an RC right now. Like, it's tough to get out and do stuff, but I'm 110 scale trail, trail truck 
kind of guy. I don't do the indoor stuff very often because I have a little house. Like it's a two story townhouse, 400 square feet per level. I'm in the basement now and I've opened her up as best as I can. I'm using the PS3 for music in the background as pause right now, of course, because I don't have the rights to anybody's music and I still monetize my shit. But I'm just down in the basement hanging out and I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess I could talk about this thing before I get rolling. Um, I got the tires. These are my claws. I don't know if they're still available. I don't think they are. But the tires are called a my claw. And the uh, oh, I got one more light I could turn on. A little bit better. Trucks. <clears throat> yeah, these are my claws with the low C wheels. I didn't feel like flipping them over. I could have, but I would have had to de-glue the other ones. Because there's the tracker, which is basically the same thing. Ah, it's got the things on. The tires aren't <laughs> the tires aren't uh, uh, permanently attached right now. The wheel nuts are just barely on there. When I swap the tires over on that, they fit, but not really well. Like when I if I ever go to take these off, they're taking the wheel hubs with them, and I don't know how I'm getting the wheel hubs off. So I'll probably just end up ordering more wheel hubs if I ever change like a metal wheel or something like that. But those rubbers, the my claw, I don't know if you can get those anymore. Other than that, I got a little bit of weight on top of the uh, servo. And then inside here, I forget how many, but let's say two or three of the little lead ball weights for fishing. Those are inside there. They're not glued. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, the It's basically the same thing as the Trekker, except I think they put a higher quality motor in it. I can't guarantee it. It looks like it's the same size and then they wrapped it in some kind of special plastic, but it doesn't, it says caution get hot, but I've ran it 15, 20 minutes and it's not gotten hot. You can easily touch anything you want. Whereas the Trekker, whether I'm running a NIM or a LiPo, you touch that motor, like you can smell it after a couple minutes. You don't get a lot of runtime out of them. Hi, baby. Of course, Molly's loving having me home. It's only been two days, but it's like I only get two days off a week or one day off a week. Usually when I was working, now I'm going to be home for who knows how long. She's pretty happy about it. But uh, so I'm thinking about doing, doing this two different ways. I'm going to try and I'm going to do it first with a GoPro stick like I normally do and drive one handed. But I, if I feel like I could have done a better job, I might do some static shots just to see how the truck looks. But I'm not very good at change, picking slow-mos. Either that or my... Uh, software on my computer laptop is not very good for doing slow-mos because every time i do slow-mo it gets all blurry and stuff where everybody else's go slow-mos are great and it's a gopro 7 it should have great uh slow-mos right molly sucky dog okay so pretty self-explanatory i got some uh s's for start on those cones gonna go up that way number one I, I haven't pre-run this, so I don't even know if number two is going to be doable. I think, pretty sure I'm going to roll over and touch that gate, and then uh, come down this way. Had to include my little uh, little bridge. Going to go over that thing. Again, I haven't pre-run this, so I have no idea if it's even doable. I'm going to do my best. If I had more than just me down here, I'd have a timer, and usually about a minute per gate, because I've done uh, comp crawling before here in Calgary. And yeah, it's like a six course, or six uh, flag six ball whatever <laughs> of course uh yeah you give it about a minute per gate yeah a gate that's what i was trying to think of so yeah we'll give her a go here easy Not a good beginning here. I have to burn that gate, I think. I screwed myself. Oh my god, didn't he hit gate one? Take two because I suck. Got a little extra chunk of foam in that one spot. Because I'm learning as I go. I probably won't even make this whole thing. There's, a, there's other spots that are going to be way harder than that spot. Uh, I don't think I touched that gate. Oh yeah, there's no way I'm making that one.
definitely got a gate. Oh, God. And there is some get up and go to this thing. I've had it out on the trail and played with it down at Harvey's Passage. And yeah, I definitely had some fun with it there. And yeah, it's got a little bit of get up and go. You can't like do a whole trail with it. Maybe you had like 10 batteries or something and you walked really, really slow. Oh, and I'll also, I, on the paperwork, somewhere, when I'm done, I'll look at it, because I don't know how many backups I got so far. I don't know how many I'll have in the editing either. She's a squealer. Ah. Ah. Go to the truck, go. I think I got that gate. It didn't move, but I think I ran over it. Number five there on the left. So that's my little course. It was harder than I thought. That gate in the corner is definitely undoable. I gotta rethink that guy. Molly was supportive always. So thanks for watching that. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want in the bottom. I'll try and do some uh, mini Z stuff. I could do the mini Z course that I used to have with the PVC piping with the lights on it. Uh, I can maybe do a live feed of me rebuilding something if you guys are down with that. Let me know what you guys are up to. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and all that bullshit out there, guys. It's the real thing. Take it seriously, and thanks for watching. I found the thing I was looking for. So I haven't used this since, uh, yeah, Parker, and that's Jason and Chris of Boom Racing and uh, Asia Tees. I don't think either one of them are actually with either company anymore, but, yeah, so that's the uh, setup for Lyle's Labyrinth, and I got, I'll be using that once I get more people involved, and we'll get this sucker rolling.